Lady Archimedes by White Squirrel Summary Read by John Gilmore Sequel to the Arithmancer Armed with a newt in Arithmancy after Voldemort's return, Hermione takes spellcrafting to new heights and must push the bounds of magic itself to help Harry defeat his enemy once and for all. Years 5-7 through seven. Disclaimer all maths in this story is real and correct to the best of my knowledge. All arithmancy in this story, besides the tiny amount mentioned in the books, is stuff I made up. J.K. Rowling owns the rest. Ancient Runes gets a lot of play in fan fiction for things like warding and making magical artifacts, but arithmancy doesn't get nearly as much attention as the basis for spellcrafting. After seeing only a couple of stories that even attempted to address the subject seriously, I decided to write one of my own, featuring Hermione as a maths whiz instead of a bookworm, based on the world's most gifted real-life child prodigies. That story became The Arithmancer, which concluded at the end of fourth year. Lady Archimedes is the sequel, beginning the summer after Voldemort's return. The Story So Far Hermione tested into Arithmancy in first year and has now completed her newt. She has made several major breakthroughs in the field and has published a number of scholarly papers. She has also worked hard to maintain a close relationship with her parents and has told them everything that happened at Hogwarts, even though they made her go to Bobatons starting in fourth year because of it. Sirius is free and Wormtail is in Azkaban. Barty Crouch Jr. is free and working with Voldemort. Cedric survived the third task, but he lost an arm and a leg in a duel with Barty Jr. Harry and Ginny are dating. Hermione is currently unattached, although she went to the Yule Ball with George during a visit to Britain. Yes, there will be maths, but you won't need to understand it to understand the story. A note about the audiobook. I am reading this primarily to my children as a bedtime story and then editing it and posting it online for the enjoyment of all. I understand that my English accent stinks. I'm doing my best, and I'm doing what I enjoy despite the fact that I'm not the best at it. I will no doubt continue to improve, and I hope this brings you joy.